So only special people click on videos like this because you've got to be serious about your figure drawings. You've got to be deep into your practice to understand how important it is to get a sense of weight into the figure drawings. And I have seven tools for you that are going to help you master this skill. Spot the difference in these two sketches of the same pose. Hopefully you agree that the one on the right works better. So how do we arrive at that drawing? By thinking about and drawing the weight of the figure. And all you really need is these seven tools that I'm going to give you. So you might be thinking, hey, seven, that's too many tools. But don't worry, because they're all closely related. And most of them are pretty straightforward. My name's Kenzo, and this is Love Life Drawing. So let's start with some low-hanging fruit, easy ideas that make a big difference. First, we're going to note which part of the body is bearing a lot of weight. So in a standing pose, it'll be one or both feet. In a sitting pose, there'll be some on the butt. Maybe there's some weight on the hand. If you're not sure where the weight is, imagine doing that pose and think where you would be supporting your own weight if you were doing it. Find those contact points and let those parts squash and flatten into the supporting surface. So here, the butt feels like it's floating. There's no weight squashing it down. If we just flatten this contact area down, we can feel that weight better. Sometimes you might create a little bulge above the flattened part to kind of emphasize how it's all squashed up and out. Now you can even see this in the feet. So notice what happens as the foot starts to take weight. It gets wider and flatter. The more squashy the body part, the more you're going to see it. So with elbows, which are just bone, there's not going to be much squashing at all. Now at that contact point, the figure and the surface are super close. So here the buttocks and the seat are squashed together and it's really hard for light to get in here in this little space where they meet. So other areas of shadow aren't getting the direct light from the light source, but they are getting other ambient light. So light rays that are bouncing around the room and it's weaker, but there is some light getting into the shadow areas. But here, even those ambient light bouncing around rays are struggling to get in. So it's extra dark and we can create a thin dark mark to indicate this tight space that light is struggling to get into. Now, even more powerful than that ambient occlusion, that's what it's called, is the cast shadow. So adding that helps us to see the ground plane. So it's the shadow that the figure is casting onto the ground. Now the ground is what really creates the sense of weight in the figure because that's what's pushing back against the weight. So if someone's in free fall, they don't feel like there's a lot of weight there. It's the fact that the ground is pushing back up against them that we feel the weight. So if we can show the ground really well, the weight is going to feel more real. The cast shadow onto the ground is one way to do that. So we want to show that ground plane and make it feel solid and real. And a big part of that is just going to be about perspective. But we don't need any crazy grids or anything complicated. It's really just going to be about the relationship between the feet, how the feet are on the ground. We pay attention to that and that's going to help us get that sense of the ground plane. So here we have these drawings of the same pose. And in this version, we've paid attention to the perspective of the ground plane in how we place the feet and the cast shadows. And it's really just a matter of holding up our pencil to the feet to see the angle and the same for the cast shadows. If we don't pay attention to the ground plane, it's going to feel like the person's floating. There isn't a solid ground there that's pushing up against their weight. So this is probably the most important one. To go more in depth on this, check out our previous video about balance. But the key principle here is what is the weight making the figure do? We looked at this pose and we saw how the weight is balanced over this foot. So the hips have shifted over it. The leg is on a diagonal. The pelvis is pushing up on this side. And then the lower torso is angled this way. And then to keep the weight over that foot, the rib cage is angled back the other way. Now the version on the left is what happens if I draw this pose without thinking about any of those things that I just said. And then the version on the right is what happens when I prioritize those things and really think about them. 
And do you see how now there's a strong sense of weight in the drawing? We can feel how gravity is pulling things down and then what the figure is doing to stay balanced over that foot. Huh, I think this video is working out pretty good so far. Do you? It's gonna get even better too. I wish there was some easy way you could let me know that you liked the video. I don't normally ask for a like on the video guys, but these technical tutorials, they often need all the help they can get to reach more people. And when you hit the like button, apparently it does that. So now we are identifying limbs and body parts which are bearing the weight. And that's a good word for it. They're bearing it. They're carrying a heavy load, maybe straining a little bit. They can't mess around. They have to be like pillars. Often they will be straight like a pillar or a post to effectively carry the weight. Um, sometimes a straightened limb that's bearing weight can even have a little bit of curvature to it. If the limb is bent, you might see the muscles have to be tensed up to make sure that the limb can carry that weight. So a pose will often have these weight bearing limbs. They look like they're doing hard work. They look serious, they're rigid. What about the other one? The one that's not doing anything really? You know, some, unless the person's like tensing up for some reason or carrying something, often the other one is kind of light. It kind of feels relaxed, like fancy free. So you've got this serious character and then you got this like, well, I can just do whatever I want because I'm not working that hard. And sometimes you can even draw it that way. You can bring out how light one limb is and how rigid and tense the other one is. So if you like, as you draw these weight bearing limbs, you can emphasize uh, how rigid they are with some strong, sturdy marks and notice how they feel like these posts or pillars or whatever. And for the non weight bearing limbs, you might draw them with more light, fanciful marks and emphasize how they're not really doing anything important in terms of bearing the weight. For some forms, especially fat, you might notice gravity pulling those forms downwards. So you don't want to draw them like they're floating. The bulge of the tummy or the love handles over the crest of the pelvis, uh, the breasts and so on. And you can draw those forms like their mass is being pulled downwards. So here I've done this painting. If I hadn't paid attention to how the forms of the breasts are being pulled down by gravity, it wouldn't work nearly as well. In this pose, you can also see that when the head is held off at an angle, you might see some strain in the neck as it tries to hold that heavy weight up because the head is pretty heavy. So before I give you my final points on this, I just wanted to let you know that we have some really cool stuff to offer you. We have the Fresh Eyes Figure Drawing Challenge. It is so powerful and effective for taking your figure drawings to the next level. Even I was shocked how well people did after this challenge. Then we have our reference library. It is free to access super high quality reference images with really nice lighting, creating big shadow shapes. We've got low angle shots, we've got dynamic shots, got variety of models. It is a really, really cool place to draw and there's some cool improvements coming to that soon. And then it's really useful to know what skills you need to learn and what order to learn them in. So like weight and balance that we're working on here is skill number eight in our sequence of skills. If you wanna know about that sequence and where you are, which skill you need to work on next, we have a free PDF guide. So everything I've mentioned, those three things, they're all free to access. The links are below, check one of them out. Okay, so you know when you see one of those beautiful figure drawings by one of your favorite artists and you just think, oh, why is that so good? What are they doing that I'm not doing? Um, and you might focus on little cosmetic things that you notice, little shading techniques or whatever. But often what really makes a drawing work so well is how the artist approached the weight in the figure. And to master this skill that's so often overlooked, it's often just about thinking it through logically. So which part of the figure is bearing the weight and then you know, what's happening because it's got all that force going into it. So how is it squashing and stuff like that? And then even more importantly, what are the knock on effects with the rest of the figure? So maybe there's a weight bearing limb and then the other one is, you know, free to do whatever it wants. Maybe the pelvis is tilted this way because of the weight bearing leg and then the rest of the torso is kind of angling back or whatever. What's happening in the figure because of what of the weight? If you can start to notice that, you know, at first it's gonna be like, I don't know what's going on, 
But as you keep practicing it, as you keep looking for it, it's gonna be more and more intuitive. And then eventually you'll be drawing what's happening with the weight rather than just like trying to copy what you're seeing. You'll think about what's happening with the weight and you'll start to draw that. And that is when your figure drawings are going to go. So there should be um, another video on the screen. Check it out. By the way, if you haven't seen our video about balance, that is just as important as this one about weight. So definitely check it out. It's super good. Uh, and yeah, check out one of those links below for our reference library, our fresh eyes challenge or our skills guide assessment. Have a good day and I'll see you later.